gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome to Staff Gymnasium. And tonight, it's the first of three matchups between the BC High Eagles and your Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, Big Game Miles Jackson, aiming Showtime Convays pulling double duty tonight, roaming the sidelines with a camera and a microphone. Miles? Doesn't get much bigger than early season BC High in Brockton. Especially on a Friday night, um, the weekend before Christmas. Um, hopefully this is going to be a good game. Unfortunately, they lost their home opener the other night to uh, St. John's of Shrewsbury. And this is a new team. They're trying to get the feel for each other. Coach Bowen, Coach Bowen, I'm sure, is trying to figure out what his best five combination will be. But right now, we're looking forward to a great game this evening. BC High winning the opening tip-off. This is number three, Travis Evey, one of the returning members from last year. He gives it over to Carl Pierre. And now it is Spencer Riley. Riley's layup no good. Taken on the other side by Demarge Taylor. Taylor loses it. Picked up by Abu Kaba, and he gets it over to Karan Harris. Some good defense on both sides right off the bat. Ooh, nice Kaba D right his there. St his shot stuffed in, counted in one. Abu Kaba for the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, that was great hustle by Abu Kaba. He went first shot, kind of blocked, got his rebound, put it right back up quickly and got fouled as he put it up, did a little wiggle right underneath the hoop. And that was one of the problems last, last game. And I know it's early in the season, but they need to improve on their free throw shooting. Spencer Riley turns it over. Carl Pierre picking it up. And now this is Evie. Yeah, he's a good guard. I remember him from last year. Nice. Evie with an excellent spin lays it up and in. Nice spin move, a little finger roll there at the end. Got a little applause from the crowd. It was a pretty move. Demarge Taylor out to Nabil Furbler, Karan Harris. Back to Taylor, Taylor pump fake. Works his way inside, kicks it out to Kaba. Kaba for Etenosa Kunbor and off the glass and no good. Punched up by Kunbor and Kaba able to put back a bunch of offensive boards for the Brockton boxers right there. Yeah, nice job on the boards for the uh, boxers there. I thought it might have been a foul, but nevertheless they made the shot. Travis Evie, wide open three, and it's good. Yeah, Evie, nice little polite elbow to get the uh, defender off of him and, and, and make a shot for himself. Karan Harris off the glass and in. Yeah, nice transition right there. Ball barely touched the floor as it went down the court. Nice lay in to finish it off. job by Pierre. He just flew to the hole. Got fouled, made the shot. And he's the captain of this uh, basketball team. Kyle Pierre, 6'3", senior, playing forward. And it looks like BC's playing a semi-press. Almost worked right there. Kaba able to bring this one down. Now Demarge Taylor way downtown and it comes up about a full ball length short. Yeah, Jamal, he needs to get in a little bit closer early on in this basketball game to you warm up. Then maybe you can shoot that long one, but you gotta get a little closer. Taking that jump shot, nice defense. Riley passes right to Nabil Furbler with easily the most colorful shoes on the court. Nice jump shot there. All tied up at eight, Spencer Riley for the Eagles. Riley coming into the short 6-5. And he gives over to Evie who hits the three. Yeah, Evie's the other captain of this uh, Eagle team. Taylor all the way in off the glass and in. Nice job by Taylor staying in the air so he wouldn't travel with the basketball. 
Yeah, this is Carl Pierre. Very high scoring back and forth game so far. Oh, oh he went for the dunk. And he traveled. Was spectacularly blocked by Abu Kaba. Yeah, nice defense by Abu Kaba. Not needed as he, uh, the offensive player traveled, didn't put the ball on the court before he came in for his dunk. Received the pass and just walked in. Called for the travel. You turn the ball over right, either way. So. Now that that that's a mental mistake right there, Mad Dog. Nobody's on you and you travel. Evie from the outside, and it's a couple of bounces off the rim, no good. Yeah, I like the ball movement of the Eagles. They go in and out. That time back out to Evie so we can hit that jump shot from way outside. You know, what, you know what I like, Miles? The effort put forth by Eamon Showtime Convey right now. Yes. He's got a camera, he stopped that ball, and he's got a microphone. Eamon Showtime. Marge Taylor to Furbler. Now I gotta get me some of those shoes. Antonosa <laughs> Kunbor bouncing it over to Kaba. Kaba stops, pops, reverse layup, no good. ET punches up the rebound, and that is no good. It is out of bounds off of the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, opportunity missed right there. Brock had a couple of chances, but BC plays some good defense underneath the boards there. Defense. Now, even though he, the foul was called, when you got two on one on two, smart guy would hold up, try not to, to dribble through the defense, and, and, and get the shot. Hold up, wait for your team to come back. Kaba and Taylor out. And it is. Precious Oko and Tejan Glenn Darty in for the boxers. That was a nice block by Pierre, the captain. Harris for three, no good. Glenn Darty trying to come up with the rebound. It falls into the awaiting hands of Travis Evie, who has a wide open three, and it's good. He knew that was going in all the way. You can't leave. You know, I know we've got three minutes left in this first half, but first quarter, but you can't leave Eve though. That's his third outside um, three-pointer. You, you know now he can hit it, so defense is going to have to adjust. Brockton's defense is going to have to adjust to uh, Evie's on the outside. You can't leave the man open. He's already got the confidence right now early in this ball game. Number two, Miles Owens, 6'1 senior. Quite possibly the best name on the court. Quite possibly. What a block there by number 15, Carl Pierre. And that's his second block coming down, Brockton coming down the court. Oko attempted the three pointer. Now he one hands it over to Nabil Furbler and another turnover for the Brockton boxers. Travis Evie streaking the other way. Evie one handing it over to Troy Simmons. We'll have the first look of the game at Segun Okinlola. It's two files on Miles Owens. Dejon Glenn Darty stepping out of bounds. Another unforced error for the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, and they can't afford too many. They're down by six at the moment with two minutes and 17 seconds left in this first quarter. Owens puts it up, fouled on the way up. He'll be at the line for two. That foul was on Oak and Lola. Yeah, that was a nice job by Owens. Driving to the basket and stopping on a dime. Pulling back for uh, jump shot, but he was, good defense is just that he was fouled. The BC player, Owens, who's at the free throw line. 
Troy Salmons comes out in favor of Mike Vassell, the seal. Furbler over to Oko. Oko back to Furbler. Kumbor for Glenn Darty off the glass and in, counted in one. Yeah, I'm glad that a nice job by Darty to get that ball up with a man on him. Just put it off the glass and get it in. Get his confidence going going early because they're going to need a lot, a lot of uh, input from the big man, Darty. There at the free throw line right now, Glenn Darty. Makes a three. The old fashioned way. Owens puts it up and good. He was surrounded by Brock and Boxes and still got the shot up. Yeah, he, one of those lollipop shots. Otherwise, that would have been blocked. Oko reverse layup has it blocked. Glenn Darty on the putback attempt, no good. And the Eagles come down with it. Evie to Owens. Owens for three, no good, but he was fouled. And he will be at the line for three free throw attempts, something we don't see that often. No, we don't. Unfortunate for the boxes. BC High is up by six, but that score does not represent the fantastic game we've seen thus far. I think the difference between this game, why it's BC's up by eight points at the moment, is because BC hasn't turned the ball over like Brockton has. Brockton came down two or three times in a row and lost the basketball. Owens one for two at the line. Glenn Darty coming down with the rebound. So they have to be a little bit careful to take care of that basketball. Okay, Lola over to Louis Charles in the game for his first minutes, and Precious Oko hits a three. Nice job there, nice form when he shot that. One minute remaining in the first quarter. Owens picks the loose ball up and puts it up, no good. Gets his own rebound, a quick three off the front of the rim, no good. Another offensive board for the Eagles, and Pierre can't put it up, and Oko now loses it, and it's going to be a BC high ball. Yeah, BC's hustling a little bit more than the boxes are. Also, BC's getting a good bounce from the basketball, but they're really hustling. Here in for Jordan Miner. He turns the ball over to Oko, and it's going to be a jump ball. Good work there by Mike Vasile. Yeah, that was good hustle by Vasil. He went right down there and tied the ball up while the box of uh, play was on the floor. Good heads up play by the Eagles. Furbler stops, pops, long two, good. Yeah, and, and we need more from that, for more from the guards there, Furbler and uh, Taylor. Nice little shot there. Long three by Evie off the back of the rim, no good. And fouled on the way up was Mike Vasile. Gee, I wish I could see that one on instant replay. If anything, it was body. Vasile hitting his first of two attempts. Demarge Taylor replaces Segun Okinlola. Yeah, right now Brockton has a small team out there. So if they got a small team, they need to run the basketball. Get it up court quickly. Two for two at the line is Vasile. Demarge Taylor streaking all the way down court and has it blocked by Carl Pierre. And that's Pierre's fourth or fifth block in this first quarter. Mad Dog. Fighted the crowd up. Oko for three, no good. And Pierre coming down with the rebound. Buzzer sounds, the first quarter is over. The score, BC High 23, Brockton 
18 miles. Quite the competitive first quarter, but there was one noticeable difference, and that would be the unforced turnovers, the mental errors by Brockton. Exactly. Otherwise, it'd be the tie game where Brockton might have a little bit of a lead. But they're doing a good job of um, hanging in with this very good BC um, basketball team. And they're a big team where Brockton uh, sometimes has their uh, small team out there. So they have to make the adjustments uh, when they had that smaller team out there going up against uh, these, this big BC Eagle team. Well, Brockton coming off of a 14-point loss to St. John Shrewsbury. They've had a few days of practice in between. They, they had a light practice on Wednesday, and then they, they were back at it on Thursday. This game, of course, taking place on Friday night. It looks like they've had a good week of practice. They've corrected some of the things that went wrong against St. John's. They still have some work to do. Yeah, you're exactly right. It looks like they're a little bit. They're playing a lot better than what they did um, the other night against uh, St. John's of Shrewsbury. So hopefully it'll carry over. They'll stay with this BC team and somehow come out of here with a win at Staff Gymnasium. But they they've got to keep the turnovers at a minimum against this Eagle team. Travis Evie now over to Pierre. Pierre banging bodies and excellent work. And number 22 thrown down to the floor. Very wow. competitive and with that, we're going to hear from Eamon Convey. Eamon. Some good hard basketball right there, guys. It's been a very physical evening so far. The Brockton Boxers certainly matching the intensity of the BC High Eagles coming in here. A five point game, Brockton. Some of those shots starting to fall that we did not see in the first game. That is a very good sign for Coach Bowen's team. Gave them some pointers at the, uh, at the end of the quarter break. We'll see if they pay off. Gentlemen, back to you. Makes Eamon our hardest working cameraman of the night. Well, that's, like they, that's why they call him Showtime. Performs the best when the lights are the brightest. Ferbler in for Taylor beyond the arc. Tariq Yaya in the game for his first minutes. Taylor driving, kicks it out to number 22. His three attempt was no good. That was great, great effort there on that offensive boards by number 23, Tariq Yaha. Is that, is that right, Matt? I've been going with Tariq Yaya. Tariq Yaya. That looks more like it. Excellent effort by Tariq. Fighting for that rebound and going back up strong and getting fouled. Nice job making both, both free throws. 23-20. Brockton down by three. Stepping out of bounds was number 23 on the other side, Matt Thompson, the 6'2 guard. Yeah, nice job by Brockton's assistant coaches letting the ref know that he stepped out of bounds. I mean, they jumped up both time, both of them simultaneously. To John Glenn Darty. Now to Louis Charles. His shot does not go. Carl Pierre for three, and it's good. Wow. Kyle Pierre's the real deal. He can play defense, plays awesome defense, and he's got some good offense to go along with it. Ferbler double pump fake gives it out to Louis Charles, and Evie is now in alone. Travis Evie laying it up and in. Yeah, see, you, you've got two guys right there, experienced, and knows how to lead by example. Marge Taylor with the floater, 28-22. We're both uh, Eve with handling the basketball right now as the captain, along with Pierre, who's been playing super defense in this uh, basketball game. Ball, ball ping pongs over to Taylor. He lays it up. Wow. And in. That was a nice job by Taylor, adjusting to the defense and putting it in the basket. Yeah, Taylor looks hurt. Come 
It was a foul on yeah. Travis Evie. Actually, Travis got fouled. Wholesale substitution, Zabu Kaba, Etanosa Kumbor, and Jerice Harris in the game. Well, I tell you, that team that just came out, I, I, I like the way they played. They got the, um, the lead down to four points. And I'm sure Coach Bowen took notice, but giving them a break. Marjay Taylor with this. Over to Abu Kaba. Kaba off the glass, no good, and Corey Salmons comes down with it. Gee, you come in there strong like that, you gotta make that basket. Wow. Carl Pierre, another three, and he is well on his way to a triple-double. Wow, he's just showing out tonight, and we're still in the uh, second quarter, 5.22 to go. Taylor just inside half court. Etanosa Kumbor off the glass, no good. Gets his own rebound, fighting for it. Wow. It's gonna be out of bounds off of Brockett. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle there. He was being hammered. And there was no call at all. He was underneath the boards fighting for the ball, but no call. Here, another wide open three. This one does not go. Taylor comes down with the rebound. In for number 23, his shot no good. Uh, golden opportunity. Etanosa Kumbor is fouled on his way up. It's, Finally. He's going to go against Travis Evie. Finally, the whistle's blown. Golden opportunity, almost lost by the boxes there, but there was a whistle, and uh, Brockton goes to the free throw line. Well, Brockton now in a bonus situation as Travis Evie has his third foul. He misses his first. Seven fouls against the Eagles thus far. E.T. go for two at the line, and the rebound goes to Jordan Miner, the 6'6 junior forward. Evie to Pierre. Here, driving baseline off the glass and in. I tell you that Evie Pierre combination is deadly. And the way the Brockton Boxers need to win this game is they need to eliminate Evie. He's already got three fouls, Miles. Evie's already got three fouls, and they need to, to bang out the other three on him so that he will foul out of this game early and he won't have that connection with uh, Carl Pierre. Exactly. They need to get another foul on Evie's with 4.25 left in this second period to sit him on the bench for a few minutes. So wh whoever's Evie's garden, guarding, that guard needs to step up and uh, put some pressure, offensive pressure on uh, Evie's. Evie has two fouls, the stat correction. Okay. Then let's just it does, that, that, that doesn't change what the Brockton, the Brockton <laughs> boxes need, need to, to do. do. Exactly. Taylor one for two at the line, 34 to 26 the score. Well, that was good defense. Evie for a long two is good. Deadly. Harris for three, no good. Air ball. Evie the other way up to Pierre. Call Pierre all the way in is fouled on his way up. I like the hustle on defense there for Brockton. They didn't let him get an easy two. Carl Pierre already with 13 points on the night. And about four block shots, four or five block shots. Unfortunately, block's not one of the official kept stats in high school basketball. Really? That's a shame. That is. That's a shame. Yeah. 
Precious Oko in for Demarge Taylor. That's Marcel Kumbor coming down with the rebound. Yeah, nice hustle by Kumbor. Ball ping-ponging all around, and now Travis Evie has it with some space. Yep, smartly holds it up, waits for his team to get back. Jordan Miner over to Pierre, over to Evie. Evie driving in, floats it up off the glass, no good. Abu Kaba coming down with the rebound, bodies flying everywhere. Jamil Davis, the six-foot sophomore guard for BC High, called for his first foul. Abu Kaba is at the line for a one-and-one one situation. Yeah, that was good hustle by uh, Kaba coming down the court, hanging onto that basketball, keeping possession of it, and was fouled because he had possession of the basketball. One for two at the line is Kaba. Here coming down with the rebound. Ethanosa Kumbor called for the push. And that puts BC High in a one and one situation. Tejan Glendardi. Coming in to replace Etinosa Kumbor. Miner hitting his first to make it an 11 point game, 38 27 the score. The Eagles on top. PC High jumped early. That was number 22, Spencer Riley. So Brockton takes over on downs. Yeah, Brockton cannot afford to get too far behind with the Eagles. They need to stay close. Oko driving inside, and he is fouled by Jamil Davis. Yeah, that was a nice job by Oko to drive to the basket and try to get a foul. And he gets back to the free throw line. Now, this is, boxes are down by 11. They need to start making their free throw shots consistently. I mean, these are freebies right here. Oko hitting his first 10 point ball game. One for two. And BC High comes up with the rebound. EB2 Pierre, spin around jumper is good. Nice job by Pierre. Have you said that before tonight, Miles? <laughs> Abu Kaba driving baseline reverse layup off the glass, no good. Glenn Darty coming down with the rebound. He puts it up too far. And Carl Pierre gets the rebound over to Davis. Pierre for three, what seems like his first missed shot of the night. Yeah, he hasn't missed many. Oko driving inside, hands it to Glenn Darty. Now number 13 for three, no good off the back of the rim. That was Drews Harris. Oko whiffs on the rebound, and now Evie for three is no good. Oko comes down with it, throws it over to Drews Harris. Now Oko to Karan Harris. Glenn Darty reverse layup off the glass and in. Nice job. Darty knew where exactly where he was. Drove underneath the basket and put it back on the other side off the backboard and in. Foul called on Jury Harris. Gabriel Ferbler and Marcus Azor into the game. So 
40 to 30 the score. Just about a minute and a half left to go in the first half. BC High on top. BC High going with the man defense. Marcus Azor hands it to Ferbler. Ferbler stops, gives it back to Azor, over to Kaba. Kaba loses it, and it is out of bounds off of Brockton. BC High will take over. Yeah, good defense by BC to take the ball away from the um, driving boxer. Travis Evie to Carl Pierre, punched out from behind his head. Evie gets it back for three, no good. Nice defense by Glenn Darty. No, block, very clean block there by Nabil Ferbler. Marcus Azor, one of the smaller boxers on the court. Glenn Darty's doing a nice job of hustling, keeping the hands up, jumping, and causing a little disruption for BC High. Still, Brockton's not taking care of that basketball. The guards still having a tough time this evening with um, taking care of the basketball. That foul was called on Tejan Glenn Darty. Free throw attempt, no good. Azor comes down with the rebound. Nabil Ferbler, top of the key. Works his way inside, floater no good. Gee, I saw some contact there. No whistle. Three no good, Glenn Darty with another rebound. Up to Abu Kaba. Kaba all the Come way on. in, holds it. He is hit on the way up. And he will be at the line for two shots. Brockton now in a double bonus situation with just under 30 seconds to go. Yeah, good decision by Kaba to drive to the basket. J drove hard and got fouled. It's his first, 40 to 31, the score, Brockton down by nine. Kappa got good free throw uh, shooting form there. Got this uh, lead down to eight points. Shot clock is off, BC High has to waste out as much of the clock as they can. Pierre, turnaround jumper is good. He just, he's hitting from everywhere, He's man. on fire. Six seconds left, Brockton trying to hold on for the last shot. Azor, top of the key, is good. Score at the end of the first half, 42 to 34. The Eagles lead the Boxers, but the Boxers pouring it on as of late in the points department. Miles, a very competitive first half. Yeah, very competitive. It's just like you said early on, um, after that first, first quarter, or one of them timeouts in the second quarter, the only difference is BC hasn't had as many turnovers as Brockton had, and Brockton's had a ton of turnovers, but they're down by only, thank God, they're only down by eight Last points. 50, 50 in so in order for them to uh, get back in this ball game, they gotta cut down on those, uh, uh, those uh, turnovers. Shut down those two guys, three and 15, although they've been incredible shooters. Uh, we've played pretty good defense on them. They've made some very tough shots on us. We're telling them we've got to continue to work hard on that. And we've got to be aggressive like we were that last three or four minutes. That was wonderful basketball we played with guys everywhere and getting to the ball and guys on the floor and guys banging into each other. We've got to keep doing that. Uh, and we've got to be ready for anything at the end of the game with these guys. Yeah, seems like BC High could throw a lot at you. And uh, so far, so good, Coach. Anything else? So far, so good. Uh, we're hoping we can, as I say, be ready for anything. And... And we hope 3 and 15 miss a few shots this second half. There you go. Guys, back over to you. Thanks, Damon. Uh, again, the score at halftime, 42 to 34. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the BC High Eagles and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog, Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson, Eamon Showtime Convey, of course, pulling double duty, cameraman and sideline reporter. Who knew, Miles, it is a big game. Yes, it is, and um, 
Brock is playing a lot better than what they did the other night. They just have to uh, cut down on the turnovers and D up on um, both captains, Pierre and uh, number three, Evie. Ooh, that combination has been absolutely lethal. Lethal. Pierre coming down with yet another rebound. And now Evie for three is good. Right there, Miles. And he's open. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. Now somebody needs to stay on him. Harris over to Furbler, has his shot blocked by... Who else? Who Pierre. else but Carl Pierre. That was a great hustle to get over there and block the shooter's shot by Pierre. That was good defense by uh, number 24 for the boxers. Miles, let me drop some stats on you. Travis Evie has 19 points. I lied, he has 21 points. And Carl Pierre has 18. That's a deadly combination. You're talking Jesse James right there. Uh, come on, you gotta make those. You gotta finish those off. Someone gives me a meatball like that, you better believe I'm finishing that off. Extra cheese. Extra cheese. Brockton has another opportunity down here. Furbler in for Abu Kaba, and he's fouled on the way up. Nice uh, ball movement by the boxes underneath. Looks like he lost control of the basketball when he went up for the shot. One of the perks of sitting courtside is we get to hear what the coaches Coach. are saying. Some serious coaching just went on between Bill Lofnain and Spencer Riley about positioning on the floor. Evie loses it. Abu Kaba now in. Abu Kaba lays it up and in. Nice job going to his left with the defender on him. I think I'm gonna call him Kicks. Kicks. Because he's got the best kicks on the floor. Riley over to Evie. Evie in for Troy Salmons. Back out to Evie, his three no good, but he was fouled. Yeah, good defense, even though he was fouled, that was good defense. Put some pressure on him when he's taking that outside, that deadly outside shot. Abu Kaba called for the foul. That's his second foul. And that is Evie's 22nd point of the night. Very good free throw shooter. Marjay Taylor in an excellent underhanded layup. He put the Jets on all of a sudden. Went right past Evie. Nice move by Taylor. They need more of that from him. Good passing by the Eagles to work the ball inside. Ooh. Floater no good, 35 comes down with it. Jordan Minor counted and one. BC working the inside this evening to perfection. Minor makes it three points the old fashioned way. Yeah, nice three point play. Bill Furbler working his way inside, loses it. And now Travis Evie. Evie holds up looking for help. Inside for Jordan Miner. Miner Rolling spinning, shooting, no good. And Spencer Riley comes down with the rebound. Carl Pierre with the floater, no good. 
Abukawa rips this one down. Good defense by the boxes there. Taylor fouled on his way up. I like how Taylor's going to the basket with Evie's covering him. Try to put some uh, more uh, foul pressure on Evie. And the foul was on, uh, let me see. Now the foul was on number nine. The foul was on Travis Evie. Oh, it's on Evie. His third of the night. And good job by Taylor to bring that foul on uh, Evie. You know what duo Evie and Carl Pierre remind me of? It's a recent one. Oh, okay. It's a recent one. Jaleel Okafor and Carl Anthony Towns. Wow. Who? I was thought you would have He went back to back, first and second picks a couple years ago in oh, okay. the NBA draft. Yeah. Out of Kentucky. What other team but Kentucky? Actually, they might have been Duke. Could have been Duke, yes. Nobody else exists in college basketball other than Duke and Kentucky. Maybe South Carolina some years. Boxes need to hunker down on defense. Watch middle, trap. Down by 12 with four minutes in this third quarter. Evie going up is fouled. Or rather, that was Miles Owens. Yeah, good, again, good defensive hustle. I don't know how many, I can't even count the number of blocks that uh, BC High has put on uh, the boxes this evening. Just a great display of defense by the Boston College High Eagles. Taylor out to Ferbler. Ferbler one handing it over to Marcinel Louis Charles. And now this is Segun Okanlola. Off the glass and in. Wow. Nice. Excellent work by the tight end of the football yes. team. Nice work. Okay, he's built like a tight end too. Bodies flying everywhere. Block, yeah. I don't know about that one. There was a little bit of movement in the feet, but for the most part, he was planted. Segundo and Lola called for the block. Yeah, it was body contact he was calling. He Brock, the defender, came over with the body, and he's, he's a big guy, and uh, just kind of ran into the, uh, the BC player just as he was getting ready to make his move to the basket. That's why the foul was called on big number 35 for the boxes. Troy Salmons makes his free throws, 55 to 44 the score. BC high up by 11, three minutes and 10 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Now Oaken Lola for three, yeah. no good. Rocket needs to get a little closer. Turnover and Oko has it. Travis Evie fighting for it, bounces to one of the Brockton boxers. This ball ping-ponging all over the place. Now Evie off the bottom of the rim, no good. And a foul called against Precious Oko. That was good defense by the boxers. Breaking up the uh, fast break play. Oko has the ball go off from the back of his shoulder. Now uh, Nabil Ferbler has it. Yeah, it's too bad he mishandled it because he had an easy layup. Box is really making it hard for themselves. Ferbler with a floater is good. 
55-46, Brockton back to a nine point deficit. Yeah, nice job by Ferbal. It's just we haven't seen a lot of that this evening from the guard. Nice job by Glenn Darty to block that shot. Boxers need to come down and uh, make a shot. Glenn Darty will be at the line for two. Troy Salmon's called for that foul. Good transition game by the Boxers on that particular play. Made a good defensive stop at the other end and came down quickly with it. Box has got it down to eight at the moment with two minutes and eight seconds left in this third period. Troy Salmons has four fouls. The 6'6 junior forward in a lot of foul trouble. Glenn Darty makes both free throws, which are very critical. It's huge. Carl Pierre to Evie. Evie for number 33. He loses it out to Matt Thompson back out to Evie. Yeah, Evie's got a break there. 10 on the shot clock. Carl Pierre working his way inside, off the glass and in. And he was double teamed, Mad Dog. Wow. He's got a little bit of Larry Bird, a little bit of Walton. A little bit of Paul Pierce. A little bit of Paul Pierce. Three point shooting of Ray Allen. We'll just call him Steph Curry. Well, I, I guarantee you, there'll be scouts looking at him by halfway through the season. Ah, uh, come on, you gotta make that, Glenn. But Darty ripping the rebound out. Now Furbler way downtown, and it's good. And he made that because of the extra effort by Glenn Darty. Would not give up on getting that basketball back to his teammate. Carl Pierre, I'll tell you, this duo would be very scary in college. Yeah, nicely. Brockton got this uh, lead down to six. And a three hit by Mike Vasil. Everybody contributing for the Eagles toward the nine point lead, 60 to 51. Easily the highest scoring game of the season for the Brockton Boxers. Again, Boxers need some defense. Hoken Lola misses the meatball. Boxers need to stand tall on defense right here with uh, less than 15 seconds to go. Shot clock off, Evie holding for the last shot. Carl Pierre, spin around three off the front of the rim, no good. Two boxers fighting for it, now Precious Oka with plenty of time. Oka working his way in, loses it, out of bounds off of BC High, and Brockton will have a clean chance to inbound and put a quick shot up. Yep, with 2.4 seconds. On the get, clock. Get the ball to Nabil Ferbler. When Darty out to Oko. Oko with a short two is no good and the buzzer sounds. 60 to 51 the score at the end of the third quarter. Brockton down nine points to the Eagles from Morrissey Boulevard. Miles, quite the competitive third quarter. Yeah, very competitive for the boxes. They cut it down to nine. They could have with that shot, they could have cut it down to seven, but what they need to do in this fourth quarter, they need to play some big time defense because it looks like the shots are coming around for the uh, boxes, but they need to play some big time defense and especially against the two captains, um, Pierre and Evie's. Evie with three fouls and Troy Salmons with four miles. Brockton needs to capitalize on the foul trouble that the Eagles are getting themselves into. Yes, and Brockton's done a good job of uh, getting some of them key players in foul trouble. And like you said, they need to capitalize on the free throw line and capitalize also when these guys aren't in there uh, because of the foul trouble. And like right now, you can see they got a couple of subs, BC High, and they need to take advantage when uh, they get a couple of these bench players. We haven't, I haven't seen a couple of these guys out here until right now for BC High, so Brockton needs to take advantage. Must be a nice luxury to have when you can afford to sit a 6'5 center 
for the entirety of the game up until the fourth quarter. That would be number 20, Jimmy Tan. Yes. Three no good. And coming down with the rebound was number 22, Marcinel Louis Charles. Now that, that was a blown opportunity right there. He should have. It was like almost a two-on-one. Maybe he should have looked uh, for the other guy because Eves was playing good defense. And he really didn't get a good shot. Pierre to number 33, Vasile. Vasile back to Pierre, back to Vasile for three, and it's good, nothing but net. A big shot there by the bench player. Oko for three, no good. Jump ball, Carl Pierre fighting with Precious Oko for the rebound. Yeah, nice hustle by Oko. So one and one situation now for the Eagles. Brockton with 17 fouls in the second half. Hitting his first attempt, he will get a second. Two with two at the line from the almost perfect on the night, Carl Pierre. Open Lola. High off the glass, no good, and it's fouled on its way up. Yeah, that was a nice uh, fake by the big man. Made the defensive man commit. Then he went back up and got fouled on the body. Pierre with it now 650 to go in the fourth quarter BC high up by 14 points 65 to 51 10 for three no good Oken Lola comes down with the rebound open three for Demarge Taylor no good now sent up to Mike the seal driving baseline off the glass, no good. Ripping the rebound down was Tariq Yaya. Yaya turns the ball over to Evie. Up and down the hardwood they go. Evie goes down. Now Demarge Taylor off the glass and in. Yeah, nice hustle by, by the boxes there. Evie slipped, lost the ball. The boxes took advantage. And with six minutes left, they're still down by uh, 12 points. Now Matt Thompson hitting a three, 68 to 53. Well, now 15 points. Boxers really don't have a lot to answer with, with this good shooting BC offense. Matthew Taylor throwing strong off of Evie's hand. They're trying to drive inside. He gets it to Yaya, Yaya over to Oko. Oko with the floater, no good. Oko gets his own rebound, no good. And once again gets his own rebound. Over to Demarge Taylor. Yaya for three and it's good. Well, that's a deep three by Yaya. Pulls it back to 12 points with 5.06 on the clock. Evie for three, fouled and one. Count the three and one for Travis Evie. Well, that's just senior leadership right there, Mad Dog. Senior leadership for Evie. Throws up the three, fouled by the big man and still makes the shot.
Evie makes the four point play, the rear four point play. A timeout called by Brockton. Yeah, this BC high offense with those two senior captains out there. Brockton just doesn't have enough to answer back with, for, for those two big time blue chippers for BC high. 72 to 56, quite the scoring exhibition going on here at Staff Gymnasium. It's been a busy week here at Brockton High for Brockton Community Access. Of course, Tuesday night we brought you St. John's at Brockton. Wednesday night we were right back here for the holiday concert. Took the night off on Thursday. Right back here for Friday Night Lights. You gotta love it, you gotta love it. So we have a very dedicated crew here braving the elements. Big time. We stripped the truck chute tonight. But due to the power of technology, we still have three cameras rolling. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Eamon Showtime Convey, Kanye Yo-Yo, and of course, the six-time award-winning director and producer and Emmy-nominated the man himself, Nubi Ratto. Yes, yes indeed. We're truly honored this evening to have Mr. Ratto working with us. Carl Pierre coming down with the very high pass. The seal pump fake. And a foul called on Etenosa Akunbor. Called for the hold. I don't know, I, I didn't see it, but the referee had a better angle than I did. But Brockton hasn't gotten any breaks as far as with the referees this evening. Tyrone Victor in the game for his first minutes on this young season. He might be the tallest player on the floor. Yeah. Karan Harris says there's a little soccer ball on the floor. Solid work by Mr. Clifford to get that out Good of there. Good job there, Mr. Clifford. <laughs> you look like one of them, them young persons at the, on the tennis tournaments. Yeah, oh yeah, after yep. the ball by the netting, yep. runs right across. Pierre can't handle the pass, a little too much muster on it. seal coming down with the high pass. Now Pierre stepped back, three, and it's good. The man's just uh, non-stoppable. Wow, a little bit out of control right there for the boxers. That was Yaya. Didn't have a shot, kind of spun around and trying to do it behind the, over the shoulder pass, behind his back to his teammate, but way off. Job 25 points for Travis Evie, 24 for Carl Pierre. Deadly combination, Mad Dog. Deadly combination that BC High basketball team has. I see them shining all season. As long as those. And we have to play them three times. Buckle up, folks. It's going to be a great Rotary Holiday Tournament right here at Staff Gymnasium. Yes, it is. Bring me back to the olden days when it was Severian, St. John's, BC High, and Brockton going at it. Another three no good for BC High. Coming down with the rebound was Jordan Miner, and he converts on the layup. Yeah, ball just fell right where BC could um, control it. Ball's just not bouncing Brockton's way here in the fourth quarter. 
Abukaba had his jersey held on his way to the basket, no call. Vasile for three, no good. Now Vasile down low has it swatted away by Tariq Yaya. That was good defense, didn't let the BC High get in there for an easy two. Held his ground even though the foul was called. Good play by Yaya. This guy, Mike, Mike Viss Vissel, 6'3 forward, he's a junior. He's really come on in this uh, second half of the uh, BC High Eagles, contributing whenever he's out there. And he's not afraid to go to the basket. 79 to 58, now 80 to 58. BC High up by a cool 22 points. Yeah, he's a good free throw shooter too. He has taken advantage on the free throw line. Azor pump fake works his way inside, fouled on his way up. If I was Marcus Azor, I'd be scared to drive in with all these big guys around. He's not exactly a big kid. Well, you know, that's why he's playing on his um, Brock and I basketball team. Even though he's small in stature, he's not scared to, to um, tangle with the big boys. And you can see he's on the free throw line, takes advantage and uh, hits his first free throw. Trying to bring the boxers within 20 points. They have the Eagles right where they want them, Miles. <laughs> Travis Evie. job by BC's player to work it inside and go up for the shot and get fouled. That's number 35. Minor, Jordan Minor, 6'6", six, six, junior. My, Mad Dog, you might want to check out these sneakers he has on at the free throw line. Those look like yeah, Adidas. They got nothing on Furblers. Good, swatted back up by Louis Charles, no good. I like the camo shoes worn by number 33, Mike Basile. Yeah, Basile's wearing, I mean, this is quite an array of sneakers out there for the, uh, even BC High Eagles, they've got just a colorful bunch out there as far as wearing the sneakers. For instance, the Mad Dog, the guy on the free throw line, number 13. He's got it's pretty, colorful, pretty good. colorful pretty socks good. and sneakers. But nothing comes close to fur blurs. Nothing at all. bringing it up for the boxers. Try to let it roll out of bounds off of BC High. Therese Harris, short jumper, no good. Um, the mercy for the Wow. Brockton boxes is that neither Evie or Pierre are on the court at this point in time. Oh. 
Well, I'll tell you, even though be Brockton's gotten, getting beat by 24 points, it wasn't that they played a bad game. It's just that BCI has some blue chippers that they were unstoppable. And when you got two fellas on your team hitting over 20 points each, there's not a lot you can do as far as the, uh, the, the other team. Louis Charles hits a three to bring the boxers within 21. Now number four whiffs on the attempt. Now Sonny Okamola chasing it down. Can't get the layup in. <laughs> Poor Showtime had to run for his life. Thirty seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Hang on and stay tuned at the end. We're going to have some comments by head coach Bob Bowen. For 14, missing a three off the front of the rim. He kicks it out to number five. 15 seconds left. Doak and Lola with it for the boxers. Over to Marcinelle Louis Charles. Now eight seconds. Azar has it taken away from him and all the way in. Four seconds to go. Laying it up and in was number 13, Jamil Davison. The buzzer sounds, and this one thankfully is over. 86 to 63, the final score. The Eagles get the better of the boxers in the first of three matchups this season. Miles, this was a very competitive game, but early on the boxers had some unforced errors, some turnovers, and that might have made the difference in this ball game. Yeah, that did make the difference was the turnovers by Brockton, but also what made the difference was the outstanding play by Pierre and Eve, the two captains for uh, the BC High Eagles. Did, Brockton had nothing to answer back with those two um, senior captains for that Eagle team. And Miles, talk about that performance by Travis Eve and Carl Pierre. They combined for more than 50 points, probably 12 blocks between the two. We're still counting the rebounds. Just talk about the performance of those two. Yeah, you know, I, I've, I've, we've been doing this for a while, and I haven't seen a one-two combination like that in a while. Um, defense as well as offense, these two guys excelled on both ends of the court, and again, Brockton really had no answer for that. So, you know, I mean, it's uh, Pierre was just awesome on, on the offense, and, along with Eve. They were, they were both just unstoppable. Now, Miles, you look at this game, you face this team again in two weeks. What can you do in practice to, to say or do or change? What can you do to say, we gotta face this exact same team in two weeks. How do we not lose by 23 points? Just play tough defense. And we're gonna hear from uh, head coach Bob Bowen who's with Eamon Showtime Convey. Eamon. Gentlemen, thank you very much. And after a, a difficult loss, but I think a, a good uh, a good experience for your kids. They saw a lot more shots go through the net. You talked about them playing aggressively at halftime. I think they did that better. What can they continue to improve on in your mind? Well, we did, we did play much better. Uh, we have to improve a little bit to the team game on defense. Again, we got lost a couple of times, and those two had spectacular games, and they never should have been left open. A uh, little bit of switching in man-to-man. -man. We got lost on that. And our offense, on some of the substitutions, it's slowed down a little bit. Uh, it's going to be the whole year. We're getting together. We're a brand new team together. I'm, again, generally pleased, as pleased, I guess, as you can be with the loss. You talked about it, 3-15, and 15, uh, 50 points combined. What's it like to face two, two players that can get so hot like that? Well, they were spectacular tonight. I thought we played a decent defense on them, and they just made shot after shot. It seemed to me they didn't miss shots all night. They had a lot of points and off very few shots. Uh, and it seemed like every foul shot they got, they made. The foul shot difference must have been huge tonight. I don't know if it was 20 points, but it must have been close to the whole difference in the game, the foul shot difference. Thank you, Coach. Get in there with your team. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Eamon. Again, the victorious BC High Eagles team here at Staff Gymnasium tonight. The final score, 86 to 63. We will see this team again in two weeks for the Rotary Holiday Tournament. Until then, for my broadcast partners, Big Game Miles Jackson, Eamon Showtime Convey, our crew, the six-time award-winning director and producer, and Emmy-nominated 
Nubi Rato, Kanyev Yo-Yo. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.